The first thing we need to do is create a Discord bot, if you haven't already, from the Discord developer portal. So you just click new application, call it what you want. And then we need to go to bots, click add bot. Yes, do it. And then we don't want it to be a public bot unless you want it to be added by other people. I'm going to turn both of these on. I know they're important. I can't remember what they do. <laughs> go to OAuth2, click bot, and then click admin i'm going to give mine admin and then click copy open the link and then add it to the server oh by the way do you like my uh my pet dog i don't have a real dog because i'm not allowed one but this is a good substitute all right the next thing we need is an ide and a lot of you always have problems with installing modules so today i decided we're going to use replit so just open replit.com create a new python file they usually give these such weird names so now we have our replit open we need to import discord so from Discord.ext, import commands, import discord2. Now it's always good practice to use cogs so that we can keep some of our code separate. So I'm going to create a cog called communitymod.py. And in this community mod, we also need to import discord and also import asyncio. Now what asyncio does, it allows us to create a thread to sleep, which is important for stuff like mutes. So now we're going to want to create a class. So class community mod. All right, def in it. No, nothing. Fine, fine. And then we need to put self.client equals client. And to set up the cog, we also want to put at the bottom def setup and client.add cog. So this setup function you could use in any of your scripts. And it's really useful because then in the main.py, you can import your scripts and then we can create a list called cogs, put community mod in there. But like if you had more than one, then you could put other scripts here, but we do not. And before we set up the cogs, we need to also initiate our bot. So client equals command.bot, command prefix equals, and I like to use the question mark, intent equals. And then finally for our cogs, we can put for i in range, length cog i dot setup client. And you also need to put client dot run. And in here, you'll need to put your token. To get your token, you need to go back to the developer portal, go to the bot, and then click copy on the token. And then we can paste it in here. In the community mod dot we need to create the vote system. To do this, I'm going to use reactions. So when you react to a message, then you get moderated. Async def on raw reaction add self payload. Now there's a few things we need to initiate here. So the first thing we need is guild. So guild equals discord.utils.find lambda g g.id payload.guildid and self.client.guild. We're also going to need the channel that it was sent in. So channel discord.utils.get guild.channels id equals payload.channelid message await channel.fetch message payload.message ID author equals discord.utils.find lambda m. So you're going to need an emoji that someone reacts with to create the moderation. For me in my discord, I have a mute button right here, which I added as a sticker, which is called warn. But for today, we're going to use it as a mute button. Since my emoji is called warn, I'm going to put if payload.emoji.name equals equals warn, then we need to find out if this person already has a mute role because it's not fair to mute them twice. That's just mean. So mute equals discord.utils.find and the r r.name. In my server, it's called detention guild.roles. Now if mute in message.author.roles, then we're going to want to remove this attempted moderation. So await message dot remove reaction payload dot emoji and then author. And to make sure nothing else happens, we're going to put return none. Now return none means the script will stop there. But if it doesn't stop there, then we're going to want to indicate that this has been successful. I want to add a thumbs up. So I'm going to put await message dot add reaction and then I'm going to put a thumbs up. So now we're going to want to find out how many reactions people have added, see whether they should be muted or not. So reaction equals discord.utils.get message.reactions emoji equals payload.emoji if reaction.count bigger than one. So if it's two or more, we're going to want to send an embed saying, hey, you're going to be muted. So I'm going to put embed. I'm going to mention the author is muted for two hours. You can make it as long as you want and then await channel.send embed equals embed. So this will send an embed if the reaction count is two or more, but we also need to mute the person by giving them the detention role. So wait message dot author dot add roles discord dot utils dot get detention for me. 
I don't know what yours is. And this is where Asyncio comes in. So await asyncio.sleep. Since Asyncio works in seconds, it's gonna be two times 60 times 60, which is two hours. And then we're going to need to remove the roll so that they're not muted after two hours. Now, obviously this only works if you have a mute roll called detention or have whatever mute role, but this mute role needs to be set up in all your channels to make sure that this person cannot talk in that channel. I hope it works. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> there's a full stop. <laughs> okay, so the bot is online. If I type something in and I react to it, then there's a thumbs up to indicate that the bot has received it. Then I hit it again, and now he's muted for two hours. But you probably not want someone to be able to mute themselves and for a member to mute a bot, right? To fix this, we need to add some kind of list, something called ignore. We need to copy the ID of the bot, and then we need to put if message.author.id is in ignore, and then we need to put await message dot remove reaction payload dot emoji and then return none so any ids in this list should be ignored and the only one i put in so far is the bot and there you go it just removes it if i add it it's gone so there you go that's for muting someone and if you wanted to kick or ban someone well that's not much harder you just need to copy and paste this and change the code of it but i'll leave that up to you but of course if you need any help let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you next time oh man this is a bit hard i'll see you next time